WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag includes the Dow being down by 51, while the S&P is up 5, and the NASDAQ 100 up 32, and the Russell up 18. That's a big mover to the upside today, eight, up 8 tenths of a percent. Semis are off 27 uh, bucks. That's down 7 tenths. The trainings are off 55, 3 tenths out there. Gold is basically flat. It's up 60 cents out here. Silver is trading out at 22.44. That's off eight pennies, lights we crude up 74 cents, 72, 79 is the print there. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. Give me a moment. The first chart that's going to pop up on the screen will be the full screen is the New York Stock Exchange. Whoops, it's going to be. Start sharing. Okay, let's get back to what we need to look at out here. I mentioned that. Uh, so we took a look at the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator reading uh, at the end of the uh, show, at the end of the Trader's Edge show. We know that it is above the zero threshold level. Second close today uh, would confirm that buyers are in control. If we just took a take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, forms a nice roads momentum indicator top, a wave number seven top, comes all the way down to its breakout level at 16.096, forms a TD9 count bottom. Now price is above its oscillator and change line, so this is confirmed that more rally is likely to happen inside of the New York Stock Exchange. Let's go take a look at the other indice chart. So this one is off the screen. And now we take a look at the Dow. The Dow should go target 35,952.63. That is its breakdown area. If price were to close above that, that would be the signal that goes back to its all-time highs. In the case of the S&P 500, it is trading inside its swing point for November 22nd. We looked at the SPY during that last segment, and we know that the SPY closed inside that swing point with volume about a 15 to 17% uh, higher volume than the swing point. That suggests that price will go tag at least the top, maybe take out that all time high. That's the message from the S&P. The NDX 100 today, pulling back, testing and rejecting that green oscillator and change line. That suggests that it wants to move higher. It has a Gartley buy pattern. The Russell 2000, a nice move out here. 2254, is that right? No, it's 2272. So I don't know, are all these right? No, they're not. Son of a gun, there's no data feed going to them. Oh, Stevie's mistake there. And I'm going to go ahead and get that going here. It should populate here momentarily. Sorry about that. Uh, come on, populate. I know we're going to go off the air here. Um, not much more I can do, but uh, yeah, so you see... Uh, oh, the Russell 2000, that looks like it wants to move higher. Folks, sorry about that. Hey, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock for the Trader's Edge Show. Take care, folks. Have a wonderful Wednesday.